So, what's up, Joneses? I'm here at Gia's, and it's the after party right now. And I had the opportunity to try Whistle Pig's Boss Hall. So this is the spirit of the mall. I don't really remember what the details are of each expression. I know I think this one was aged a little bit differently. Um, I'm gonna be excited to try it. It's a $500 bottle. So, of course, we know that I would um, probably not buy this bottle uh, without at least tasting it to see if it was worth it. So, here it goes. It is, it is, it's not bad. It tastes, I feel like it, it must be a rye, uh, which I think most Mr. Pigs are all rye. It is really spicy, like all over my tongue right now, I feel like an explosion. It's uh, got a dry age on the end. Like it's finished in some sort of maybe a wine barrel of sorts, or uh, yeah. I must say, it has some heavy heat to it. I would venture, I feel like it's gotta be at least 100 proof um, with the heat that it has off of it. Thank you. And there's pepperoni for it, so that's good. Um, I'm not opposed to this at all. Now, do I feel like it is uh, a $500 bottle? No. It reminds me of uh, the Whistle Pig 12 here, but it has a little more um, of a, a candy kind of sweetness to it. So I wanted to kind of insert a little extra into that video. Um, I sipped on that, well, I finished the pour, of course, and what I was really trying to put into words was it has a really slow, controlled burn. Like, in my mouth, I felt a fire. I felt the heat, but it was, it was so, I, I hate to use the word smooth, but it was so controlled. It wasn't all over the place. It was it was silky. It was um, that brandy sweetness um, was definitely there. You know that first initial shock was like, "Woo, it's heat!" Um, but it kind of just almost rolled down your tongue and down your throat. And then as I kept sipping on it, I'm like, "Oh, this is like this. It feels really familiar." Um, but I can't really kind of place it because my tongue's, you know, it's dancing all over the place. It is a quality spirit. Um, I would I would love the opportunity to try it side by side with the 12 because it reminded me a lot of the 12. But I will say um, there's a noticeable difference between the two going off, you know, and you're going off memory. Side by side is always the best way to go. But... Uh, the, the, there's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of rye in the 12, um, that is amplified in the spirit of the mauve or the mauve. It is, it is, 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 is way more aggressive, but it is still honestly very well manicured. And the, the thing that pops in my head continuously is it is a controlled burn. If you've ever seen a controlled burn, it's a beautiful thing. There's an art to it. So I see where people who spend the money and they buy it or they try it can really say, now this is, this is a quality spirit. Now, now with all of that said, I definitely think this is a premium selection from Whistle Pig. But honestly, if I'm, I'm being real with you, I just don't, I, I, it doesn't justify the price. Um, at most, and I mean at most, it's a two hundred dollar spirit. At most, and I, and I say that because you know it, it is a thirteen year whiskey. I mean a thirteen year rye. Um, there is some time that kind of goes into double casting it, and there's an expense of uh, uh, um, 
of, of finishing it in a different cast. Um, but you know, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's still uh, a MGP or some sort of source product. I, mean, I think 12 is the only source. Um, that's a good question. I don't know if anybody knows where um, the mauve is sourced from. Uh, it, so it's still it's still a sourced juice. Um, might be mint blended or mixed with uh, maybe a little bit of what they're producing in Vermont. I, I just don't think it justifies the five hundred dollar price tag. It's just there's no there's no doubt about it. It doesn't. Two hundred um, would be my max, and it would it would be a, a special occasion type thing. I definitely would felt have a lot better. Like I've tried um, the one of the other versions, the Blue Label. I'm trying to think of what it was, and I think that's a two two fifty bottle. And honestly, in comparison. The whistle pig outshines it by a mile. Um, it is it is way more polished, way more well put together um, than the blue bottle, um, and I, I I put down what that is. But I think the blue bottle was two fifty. So there you have it. Um, those are just my final thoughts on it. Uh, it's worth a try, but is it worth the buy? Eh, I don't. I, I say no. It's all hype. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad to have crossed that off my list. Um, but I don't think, at least Spirit of the Mall, I don't think I'm going to be about the ball. So, there you have it. Click on the